Jamie has no permanent damage. Death in 5 hours. Death in 5 hours. Death in 8 hours. Death in 2 hours. 5 hours. And that's it, yeah. Not gonna die. So Lee, once we tend to Lee, we'll have a little less uh, shit to worry about. Come on, James. We need you. Pull through here. Oh my god. Okay, so... Oh, for fuck's sake. James has gone down. <laughs> oh, crap. Has Josh rescued Adam yet? He has not. Siobhan. Scott. Tending to Jamie. No. Rescue James. Actually, you know what? We probably could... Lee needs to kind of prioritise. He needs priority, really. Oh, holy shit. If he doesn't get priority, he'll die. And James can just be picked up in a minute. You can just be patient there for a minute. James, stay right here. Oh, extreme blood loss. Dies in five hours, though. Alright, Scott. We're relying on you here. Scott, 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 Scott. Where are you? Here. He's on his way. Lee will be dead in... Less than an hour. Oh, will he get it done in time? I don't know. We might lose him here. He's already... Come on, Scott. I know you're not really supposed to be doing this job, but we really need you. Let's see if this goes up when he when that bar fills, please. Oh, slightly, but not really. 74%. That's pretty good. Oh. This is... Oh, fuck, I thought that it was 0, 0. 0.0 there for a second. Alright. I think Lee's in a stable condition. His blood loss so will keep him in bed forever. Alright, Scott, you really fucking pulled through there. Alright, I'm going to pause and have a quick look at everyone who is doing shit. Tended to. James dies in... Oh, I just realised something. We're going to have to pick, are we? James and Dylan. Dylan is closer to death. Oh, Jamie as well. Josh, where are you at? Save James. Who is short or so between the three? Jamie and Dylan is here. He is the soonest to die. Scott, you're going to have to tend to Dylan right now. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can save all three of them. Especially with no medicine either. No, 19. We've got good medicine anyway. Josh is rescuing James. Ugh. Let's have a look here. Death in 1.5 hours. Hours. And then he's going to have to do Lee... No. James or... Jamie. I could juggle it, maybe. So these... James and Jamie are on the same. One and a half. Oh. Health. He goes up to a 4.2. So, Ronald... Or, Scott. Prioritize sending to James. If I do this wrong, though, I can end up losing them all. What are you doing? This medicine right there. Disease infection. Oh, it's auto saving. Lee's gotten an infection in his arm. That's okay. That can wait. I feel. Oh, holy shit, this is really bad. Looking at the blood in the rooms. Okay, slowing this down. Uh, I think we've lost Jamie. We couldn't get to him on time. We couldn't do all of them. Maybe if Scott patches up this, it might be enough. Maybe. No. Jamie's dead. 
Oh, fuck. <sighs> Jamie died. Fuck. Oh, shit. That's so bad. The rain and everything. Ronaldo! Fuck! That's the second death because of these fucking cave bug things. Shit. No, oh, pause. So James is in a stable condition now. Scott, prioritize tending to Dylan. Dylan, fuck. If we tried to tend to just Dylan there, I think we did the right thing to try and juggle, but Jamie was just too far away. Ah, uh, three of them dying at the same time. Oh, and only one doctor. Shit. What can you do? What could we do? I don't feel like I did anything wrong this time. Although fiddling with the bugs is a mistake, I feel like. I've done the same mistake now twice and it's cost us two members. Major break risk, it's Scott and he's our only doctor. It's okay, I think everyone's stable. He's in a stable condition. Ronaldo is stable, James is stable. Lee is infected. Oh my god, I nearly forgot about Adam. Fuck. Deal with Adam. Is he's close to the storage area, so that might be enough. Uh Dylan is stable too. Fuck, okay. I think we might lose Adam as well. Uh, half an hour left. No, I think we... Maybe? Will that fill before that gets to zero? That's the question. I don't know if it will. Come on, Scott. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> Crap. Oh, fuck. That is so bad. <laughs> Alright, Scott, go eat before you have a breakdown. Okay, well. That's, uh... Not ideal. Before they go burying them in these shitty graves. I'm going to disallow colonists. <sighs> so that was resting. Well. Um, yeah, things were going so well. And then suddenly this. Okay, so, for you it's only been a couple of seconds, but for me it's been a couple of days since I played this game. After the uh, depressing events that just passed. Uh, Adam and Jamie died, as you've seen, probably only two seconds ago. But I'm acting like, I don't know, I, this is a new episode, which it probably won't be. Um, yeah, Lee has an infection. Oh, oh that's okay, okay. Lee has an infection, but he's the only risk right now. Uh, he's immunity 41 and infection 48 so he's actually a good bit behind when's the next time he can be treated actually he's probably treated by someone who's injured and it didn't really that's why it's brown in the next 0.2 hours is josh or scott awake scott is the person who is kind of on that right now colonist needs treatment scott prioritize tending to leave that is quite important though because yeah, we don't want to lose another person, basically. Siobhan's going around building all the dressers, which is good, of course. Uh, we have a shit ton of food. Like, we... It's so annoying that this happened. We literally had, like, everything sorted. Josh is going around cleaning shit up. Anything that's damaged is being fixed. The heat wave is done for the last while. The fire that we had started raining, so that's grand, obviously. Um, 
Yeah, everyone who is in bed, like these three injured and Ronaldo, they're all fine. James Dillon and Lee are, and Ronaldo are fine, but Lee has an infection, so he's the only worry as of right now. Um, which is good, I guess. That's we could have could have, as I always say, could have been a lot worse. But yeah, Scott is puking, which has interrupted his uh, tending to Lee. All right, let's see how this goes because it'd be it's kind of it is pretty important. Forty-seven immunity, fifty-six. Ooh. Let's see how this goes. I'll speed it up. Actually, what am I doing? Josh is going around cleaning shit up, which is actually nice, seeing as they're all out of their ugly beds and or bedrooms. What's the quality? Bandage quality 52, which isn't great. See, the thing is, because Scott Scott is doing doctoring, which is great and all that, but for infection, it really does matter. Their skill matters more, if you mean, because of the fact that... Basically, the immunity goes up slower, I think. This is what I've noticed. I think it goes up slower based on the quality it's been done and also the type of medicine you use. Um, so, yeah, it's not ideal. Josh is now out and about. Oh. Right, who was. Who's. Siobhan is doing what? Building the dresser. I think I'll leave her to do that. Josh is cleaning dirt. Josh, you're going to have to bury. Jamie. Ugh. Right, so I've, it's hit me as well that um, we've lost. How many? We've lost one. Our melee fighter, Enrico. We've lost Adam, our dead eye. Hunter, and probably our best chance of defense against people as well. And then we've lost Jamie, our researcher. So we're in pretty shitty position because I've realized that our best chance of survival now is to research on automated turrets, and we've no one to do research. So we'll have to get someone in there researching, which is, oh, it's a pain in the ass. Oh, we'll see. Um. So has, oh fuck, I might have fucked up. The art has been done, fuck. Okay, the sarcophagus bears a depiction of Jamie being knocked unconscious seemingly without remorse. What? Four clams look on. A townsman floats near the, what? A townsman floats near the edge of the image. The soil is erotic with purest elements. This depiction refers to the mega spider incapacitating Jamie on this date. Right. Uh, I won't have Josh doing the <laughs> burying anymore. I forgot whoever buries him does the art as well, so... Fuck, I'm actually pretty pissed about that. Well, there you go, Jamie, if you're watching. You got some erotic art of a spider knocking you unconscious. I'm sure you're happy with that. Jamie being knocked unconscious while four clams look on. Am I reading that? No, it is clams, yes. I really, like, I'm looking at that word over and over thinking that I'm reading it wrong because I'm just like, how can it be clams? Let's see what Josh's art skill see if that actually explains anything. Uh, artistic, zero. Well, there you go, Jamie. Um... <laughs> Knocked unconscious by a giant spider in an erotic faction, fashion as four clams watch. It's fucked up. Lee is up. Good. Hunter lacks a weapon. Oh yeah, where's Lee's gun? Oh yeah, they're probably all holding each other's um, guns right now. Seeing as they were all um, running around picking up each other's weapons. Josh is currently holding a revolver, and Siobhan's holding a pistol. Who else had a gun? Where's Adam's rifle? Scott, I think, has it. Yep, Scott has it. Okay. Um, where is he after? Put that back to play, because it's chugging a bit. Oh, he's getting Ronaldo's one that was left in the cave for like three days. Nice. Yeah, the nest has been destroyed as well here. 
Okay, well this plan was is pointless now, so where will we go? Uh, cancel all that and we're gonna have to redo this plan. Where is it? Orders. Mining. Okay, well that's annoying. <laughs> but oh well, what can we do? Oh fuck. This is a, a disaster, realistically now. Uh, your art is two. Yeah, we'll wait until one to bury them. Artistic nine. Okay, well I'm gonna cut here and return in the morning when people are out and about. Okay, so it's been like literally two seconds since I cut last and... Dylan just fucking died from blood loss. Blood loss without a T. All this shit was patched up, so I don't know. Is it because of the quality? Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't know. So we've lost Dylan as well. Oh. That was so random, I wasn't expecting that. So does that mean that basically these two could die too? Like blood loss extreme. Like his, He died of blood loss, and his blood loss was severe. Is extreme worse than severe? I don't know. Lee is also... Oh yeah, he lost a fucking leg, for fuck's sake. Maybe severe is worse than extreme. Seeing as he lost a leg and he got a few cuts. Well, he got a cut on the neck. I don't know. Oh, holy fuck. That's another person down. Two of our only shooters are dead. Come on. Oh, she's eating. Okay, after she eats, I'll get her back on the job of... Um, back on the job of burying people, seeing as Josh did such a shit job <laughs> of uh, Jamie's sarcophagus. No, you can bury Dylan. Adam's been left there for a couple of days, actually. We should probably do him first, but oh well. Uh, Alright, we'll get Siobhan to bury Adam right now, and while she's doing that, we'll read the um, we'll read the art on what's got actually with that medicine? Potentially, okay. We'll get, we'll read it there on Dylan's sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Contains Dylan. Art. An engraving on this sarcophagus portrays a rat being knocked unconscious in a cowardly, half-hearted way. Dylan seems satisfied. <laughs> a koala to the right of the main scene seems to symbolize revenge, and the work is shaded in hues of green and black. This portray portrayal refers to Dylan knocking unconscious the rat with a revolver on the 8th of April, May, 50-50-0-0. Wow. Alright, well. Seems like Dylan was a bit fucked in the head. Enjoyed shit like that. And Adam. The sarcophagus bears an artwork of a spellopede being knocked unconscious by Adam out of bleak necessity. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lee just died. Oh my god. The sarcophagus bears an artwork of a spellopede being knocked unconscious by Adam out of bleak necessity. Adam looks triumphant. triumphant. The work is shaded in hues of green and white. The scene seems to take place in the outskirts of the encampment. This portrayal tells the story of Adam Disabling the spellopede on the 15th, which was... Oh, that was that was around the time of our first attack. It was called Hard Cash. Right. Well, Adam's one seems pretty good. It's him. A victory. You know, that's good. Oh, that was in the cave, when he was fighting in the cave. Yeah. This is just called Jamie. Very uh, creative there, Josh. The one with the clam and him killing a spider or whatever it was. Oh no, being knocked out it was. Yeah, being knocked unconscious. Dylan's one is called Blue Rat. Where he enjoyed knocking out this rat. And Rico's called Poor Hardship. Let's see what Lee's is going to be called. Fuck's sake, so... It looks like this colony's days are now numbered. Uh, just after we got everything under control as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit went badly fast. 
I'll speed her up. Let's see um, Scott's mental state now. Needs. Hit our table. Colonist died times three. Lee, friend, died. Sad. Witness ally's death. His friend Lee died. Josh. Hit our table. He doesn't know about. Oh no, he does, he does. Friend Lee died. Observed corpse. Colonist died times four. James. My rival Dylan died. Plus two. Wow. Fuck you, James. My friend Lee died. Minus two. Colonist died times four. And then Ronaldo. Colonist died times four. My friend Lee died. Jeez, everyone liked Lee. Which is even worse. Um, oh yeah. Siobhan buried Lee now. So let's see what Lee's one is. He's in the middle. I think. Contains Lee. Art. Quiet torture. The sarcophagus is engraved with a portrayal of a me mega spider brutally harming Lee without emotion or expression. Lee looks indebted. The scene takes place inside a district built near a crag, and almost every shape in the image seems to be unbalanced. This depiction relates to the knocking, to the knocking unconscious of Lee. The other day. Oh, what's Siobhan doing? Visiting grave. Lee's grave. Oh, okay, well, on that depressing scene, I'm gonna stop here. Tune in next time for, you know, more than likely one of the final episodes of this series. With our five uh, survival... Bleh, five survivors. Ronaldo, James, Siobhan, Josh, and Scott. Oh, okay, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time.